Hello, welcome back. Today I would like to update a video on iOS 13.5. So this one it is actually the third beta from iOS 13.4.5. And the reason that we see the new update here, the new version, because Apple had just included the new feature which is um, COVID-19 tracking feature. So every time Apple add the new SDK, they need to change the version. That's why we can see here iOS 13.5. So with this update, we're gonna see um, three big changes. The first one, we're gonna talk about um, COVID-19 tracking feature. Um, the second one, we're gonna talk about the face ID changes. And the third one, we're gonna talk about um, group FaceTime. So now let's jump into the first feature. So according to TechCrunch, you can see here. Um, so they said that um, this update includes an ad ability for health authorities to define and calculate an exposed um, risk level for individuals based on their own criteria. So as that vary organization to organization, so this will be um, variable based on approximate um, distance of an individual to confirm exposed COVID-19 patient, as well as the duration of that exposure. So developers can customize notification messagings based on their defined exposure level to ensure alerts correspond correctly to calculate the risk. So I'm gonna show you the feature now. So I have the iPhone SE that I have just updated to iOS 13.5. So if you jump into settings and then you can go to privacy and then go to health and you can see the new option on the very top here. So we have COVID-19 exposed notifications. And if you update your phone, this feature will be um, enabled by default. So you can see the explanation at the bottom here. So they say iPhone is using Bluetooth to securely share your random ID with nearby device and collect their ID. So they enable an app to notify you if you have um, been exposed to COVID-19. Random ID are deleted after 14 days. Apps you authorize can notify you if you exposed to COVID-19. So you can also choose to anonymously share your COVID-19 di um, diagnosis. And for me, I recommend you to enable this option. For this option, your information will be secure and preserved. And as you can see, they say here, the tech is designed to be privacy um, preserving, ensuring that contest ID are rotating and randomized and never be tied to an individual specific identifying information. So it is very um, secure. And one more thing, we're gonna talk about Face ID. So for Face ID, usually with um, the previous version, when you um, unlock your phone while you are wearing mask, it's gonna delay. So you can see from here, and when I want to unlock my phone when my, uh, with my mask on, it's gonna delay. So with the update of iOS 13.5, um, it's gonna um, cut that delay. So you're gonna um, jump straight away to the passcode when you're wearing the mask. So it is very awesome. It is uh, much more convenient. So with the last feature of iOS 13.5, we're gonna talk about group FaceTime. So according to Apple Insider, so user now have the option to turn off group FaceTime dynamic zoom effect, which um, automatically enlarge a participant window when they speak. So instead, user can select which person to focus on and by tapping on a new static window interface. These are some of the new update feature on iOS 13.5. And I hope you like this video and my explanation. And then I will catch you guys in the next one.